Hello everyone, this is Kevin Hayes from the Information Security Office at Wayne State University, and I thought I'd show you a little demo as to exactly how wonderful and terrible, all at the same time, that newest Microsoft vulnerability that came out for a lot of their products, MS15-034. And unfortunately, this, uh, this takes advantage of a nasty bug in a library inside Windows, HTTP.sys, that is commonly used by things like Internet Information Services, Active Directory Federated Services, and a whole bunch of uh, other things. And it ends up uh, actually being kind of miserable. So, uh, like I said, I want to show this to you, and unfortunately how easy it is. I have a little lab set up here. Over on the right-hand side, I have a standard Windows 2008 R2 server, uh, fully patched up and up until uh, the most recent set of patches before prior Patch Tuesday. So this machine is unfortunately vulnerable, as um, I guess a lot of other machines out there on the internet are. You can see I have an IP address here, 192.168.98.148. It's a nice little natted off network uh, that I can go ahead and play with. Over here on the left-hand side, this is my penetration testing server. And I went ahead and, you know, I put that IP address here in the Ice Weasel web browser, and I can see our wonderful, welcome to Internet Information Services, please put some content here. All right. So I have my penetration testing server that is connecting back up to my Windows server. And just to prove to you that uh, that things are indeed working correctly, if I go ahead and I run this command and I ping my Windows server three times, hey, wouldn't you know I get some traffic back. All right, now for the fun part. This is the part you actually tuned in for. This is the command that I am going to run. And it might look a little bit complicated to some people that aren't used to the command W get here. But unfortunately, or fortunately, it's very simple. All this is going to do, really, um, this is going to just run a simple web request. Just honestly, something that uh, your uh, your web server will unfortunately happily take in, and you're going to add in one single header inside your web request. It's this range header, and in that range header, you're going to tell it that the number of bytes that you're looking for is 18 through uh, an ungodly large 64-bit number. And I think this is actually all Fs, uh, up to 64 bits minus 1. And that's the actual point of the vulnerability. Um, if you have code that is just testing for the, uh, for the availability of this exploit, you'll see this number 18 here, and said it'll be 0. If that number is 0, you can test to see if the vulnerability is there, but you won't actually cause any problems. We're going to cause some problems today. That's why you tuned in. And then finally, after the, uh, after the header flag inside of the wget statement is going to be the actual URL that we're going to go to. Uh, you actually have to put an actual URL here. You can't just you know, put a, a website address uh, with just a final slash and just hope that the regular index page comes up. You need an actual resource, the page, uh, resource there. So that's why we have the, well, the wonderful welcome.png, because that's actually what this little picture is right here. All right, with that being said, uh, I've done a lot of talking and not a lot of doing, so let's do some doing, and we'll go ahead and get this ready, because it doesn't take that long. Uh, okay, so I have my command here, ready to go. I'm going to hit enter, and then let's watch what happens over on the right-hand side. Enter, and bam! Oh, did you see that? Not really fast, because it blue-screened and it booted off before, you could, uh, before we could even ever see anything really go wrong. But point being, my wonderful Windows 2008 computer is now uh, happily rebooting. And if there is a script around that is sending requests like that as quickly as possible, uh, your server really isn't going to be online for any kind of amount of time. So just to prove, <coughs> excuse me, just to prove how nasty this can be, I'm going to run this one more time again. Except I'm actually going to move these windows around so you can once again see. I'm not making this up. This will happily, happily blue screen. Let's see. Do, 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 do. And bam! Another blue screen. It's rebooting. Only way to fix this is to properly patch your computer with the patch that Microsoft has put out for MS15-034. If you don't, um, there is a, a tiny workaround that you can do that involves disabling uh, certain caching with an IIS, but that will only affect an I I that will only affect IIS. It'll only affect Internet Information Services. It won't affect anything else that takes advantage of the HTTP.sys library. So please, please, please patch your Windows systems as soon as possible, because you definitely don't want uh, 
things like this from continuing to happen. So you don't even have to log in. I'm just going to go ahead and just keep uh, keep blue screening my server as long as possible for it and won't even boot anymore. So hopefully you find this helpful into understanding why vulnerabilities like this uh, can cause such terrible problems and that you should patch your systems as soon as possible. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop me a line and uh, stay safe up there. Thank you.